looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be combining two videos into one here, guys. So, for starters, I'm going to go over some of the playoff predictions. Some players or like players that I hope more so that get big cards in the playoffs. Now, none of these guys are certain, guys. As you do know with stuff like this, it could be anyone. You know there's never anything guaranteed with this kind of stuff. But these are just players that I hope that we do see during the playoffs promo at some point there's been some great performances that i remember in recent memory there's been some performances from the past that i know that just go down in history so hopefully ea does reward us with some of these guys but i'm gonna go over a few guys that i would like to see now again there's gonna be no cards to really show here because of course these are predictions cards that have not yet come out but i'll go over to the block i can show you guys what some of these cards would look like in general now there's so many cards i want there's so many good playoff performances. If you guys have been playing Madden long enough, right, since like Madden 13-ish, I, I always like to reference that because that's when I started and that was such a great Madden for Ultimate Team. If you guys remember, playoff promo was awesome. Like they would drop throwbacks everywhere, like throwback this. Well, first off, there was a playoff player every week just based on the playoffs. I was like this, but it just, it just felt more immersive. But then they also had throwbacks to other playoff years, like crazy playoff performances. Like it would say stats in the back of the card. Like it would say some cool stuff. I miss those days when you can click on the card like, there used to be like you click on the card and there'd be a whole description on the back of the card, which I feel like has gotten lazy on their part. It used to be cool. Like it would be like, you know, Brandon Marshall, you know, whatever, flashback. And it'd be like when he had 23 catches and he broke the reception record. Whatever, like it, every card had like a little meaning to it for what it was and reminded you of that game. How did you even look up that game, right? You want to know. Point being is I hope that they keep the playoff promo going smooth. I hope we get some more players that are cool. Now remember, they're doing it per round. So our next week will be divisionals. I'm gonna do overall right now. I'm just gonna go over all the guys that I want. I'm not gonna go based on rounds, whether it be Super Bowl or anything. Just players I expect to see from the playoffs overall. Now, Super Bowl is an extension of the playoff promo. So it still kind of falls in the same category. But if you guys don't want to see one on the list specifically, it's going to be Steve Young. Steve Young had a great Super Bowl. He had some great playoff performances. Now, I Steve Young. If you guys know anything about Madden or if you've been around long enough, you know Steve Young's always been a quarterback that's been a staple in Mutt. The thing with Steve Young, though, is that when he's come around Mutt, like, he was never the best quarterback usually, uh, like, for long periods of time because the thing was, Mutt's always been about get a fast quarterback that can also throw, and that's the meta. This year, it's not so much that. It's 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 get a quarterback that can throw first that also has some mobility, some mobility first. Now, that's what Steve Young is built for. Steve Young is literally built for I can make every throw on the field put the ball on you know you know put the ball on the target but i can also sprint pretty fast too at the same time right so steve young would be a meta quarterback he fits the meta of this game right he would be so good obviously i think he'd be an improviser cam which i mean imp improviser archetype which could throw things off a bit but stats wise he'd have exactly what you need so he would be i, I mean he wouldn't really fit any of these i would say let's say rich gannon maybe he would be like rich gannon but he'd probably have like an 88 speed he'd be like the new josh allen kind of but he'd be a little bit better because they'd probably give him like a 96 97 overall you know, Steve Young's been a staple in Mutt for so long. It would be exciting to see him back. Um, another guy we could probably see, and this guy's probably likely as well, potentially, maybe like a Joe Montana. I could really see us getting a Joe Montana in this playoff promo as well. Two 49er quarterbacks. It really just depends on what EA decides to give us. I'll see if I can find the better one. But Joe Montana would be similar to like a Tom Brady kind of build, but a little bit more mobility. Um, but he would have all this... Sp I don't know. He, he would be good. He would probably, again, fit the meta a bit more too. He'd probably have like an 84 speed. But he'd have all throw, good throwing stats, you know, probably high, higher throw power now. He'd be good. I mean, he wouldn't be insane, but those are some guys that I could expect to seeing. Now, a guy that I really want. This is a guy that I really hope we get. That's Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen is a guy that holds true to a lot of Madden 20 uh, hearts. Marcus Allen is like the second coming. It's, it's like if Bo Jackson, but it's Bo Jackson better. I don't know. He was so insane in Madden 20. Well, that first, well, like two or three weeks when he came as a base legend. And he, he was the only card that had like evasive and he destroyed weekendly like, people were single-handedly getting top 100 with the marcus allen would be similar to bo jackson very similar both raider backs it'd be very similar cards uh marcus allen i think might be even taller than six foot one i could be wrong though marcus allen had a few great pro performances of course he would be really good he would be very similar to this car but i feel like marcus allen's a bit skinnier i don't know i can't stand bo i don't, I don't like playing with bo but he'd be similar though but he'd be uh playoff cards so and maybe he'd be a little bit cheaper as well marcus allen would be pretty insane and then um, of course, one guy that I really want, I know, might be controversial to some people, and this is kneeling aside, everything aside, forget politics here, just think about Madden, right? If you guys played the older Maddens, you know that 
some of the most fun players because remember back if you started back in Madden 13 that was the beginning of like the running era right that was when RG3 had just come in that was when Russell Wilson had just come in Andrew Luck who was mobile Kaepernick like you know what I mean like prior to that it was a very it was a very run heavy league and then pocket pass for every league that was when the running quarterbacks really started to come in and like change the game a little bit kind of like the Curry effect you guys know what I mean I know, I know you know what I mean but point is at those days, if you could have a quarterback that could scramble, like it was the most fun thing. No one wants pocket pass, man. You want to get like that RG3 rookie card or that Russell Wilson, you know, offensive rookie of the year card, or you wanted that uh, Colin Kaepernick playoff card against the Packers. Now, for me, guys, that's exactly what I still want. Forget politics, forget all that. This is this is Madden. We're talking Madden here. Colin Kaepernick would be a card that would make me super excited. I remember back playing franchise with my trade form instantly. He had everything you wanted. He was like the fastest quarterback, and he also could throw. And it looked pretty cool too in a 49 er uniform. But um, it would be super cool. We can get a playoff against. I remember the Green Bay Packers. I remember I was like, I think I was like 13 years old. I don't remember. He was. I remember watching those games like a pizzeria. I was out that night or whatever. And I was watching that game. I remember Colin Kaepernick going off, kissing his bicep when he scored, and no one knew who the hell he was. He was the backup to Alex Smith, and he came in because I don't know if Alex Smith got hurt, sick. I don't really remember what happened. But Ka Kaepernick came in, took him to the bowl. Ravens won, of course. Uh, Ravens won with that. You know, the, the power went out and the whole thing went down. But that that was pretty cool as well. So just a lot of memorable stuff. So. That was a special run. And again, same thing with the Ravens. A Ray Lewis playoff card would be pretty cool. You know, the Ravens also had some Ed Reed. There could be a lot of stuff we can get from them. But those are kind of the cards that I expect to see. I expect to see some some air orientation of those cards. Or Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner could be in there too. Kurt Warner would be kind of similar to a Joe Montana, but slower. He'd be like a Peyton Manning-esque card. Like, you know, 70, 70 speed, 65 speed with crazy good throwing stats. That's about it for that, guys. Let's get into the Saturday Legends that I do want to toss into here as well. For the final um, note on this video so let's get into uh the legends real quick so for today's saturday legends we have london fletcher as the first one and what sucks is that this year in madden when people see middle linebackers they just don't care because middle linebackers don't play right i thought it was a mutt thing i started playing online franchise a lot this year when i play online franchise it's become apparently clear when i i'm, I'm the cardinals by the way so when i when i use her isaiah simmons in like a big nickel scheme you can't put him at linebacker you know there's rules i use him i keep him down low someone throws three feet over my head I, I lurk it, I pick it off. Someone throws a foot over my head, I lurk it, I pick it off. I need to change the direction, I do it easily. I have this middle linebacker, he's young, he's pretty, he's really fast too. I use the route the same, I'm using it better than I do with Simmons, because Simmons I'm a little more risky with. This one I'm just staying on it. I hold Y, he looks at the ball. Ball comes right to me, I hold Y, he looks at the ball. I try to change the direction, he feels, he's like a few speed less and he feels crazy different slow. Middle linebackers don't have, they, they were coded pretty much to be slow this year to not, you know, locked in the middle of the field, which which is dumb on EA to do. Like, it was dumb because what they did was too, they made them so they don't jump. Like, jump, they don't animate. Doesn't matter they're jumping, they don't animate. I don't know what's like, almost like why it doesn't work on them. EA must have coded it a certain way to kind of like, they last year was too OP to user. But what's dumb about it, if you're going to do that, they should really make it so you can't put, I, I think there's a big thing next year. I want football. That's the thing with Mutt that bothers me. They really need to return it back to football, right? I don't, not, not about plays, not about any of that stuff. Let us play cards at their positions. We don't use fullbacks because there's no use at sometimes, right? We don't use defensive tackles because we could just use five rush, uh, you know, rushing ends or outside linebackers. We don't use, you know, sometimes the cornerbacks. We don't use some middle linebackers. We could use safeties everywhere or we don't use any out linebackers. Just why not? It's a linebacker. Slower, hard hitter, can't animate. Safety, taller, can intercept, can play zone at 99, just as hard of a hitter, if not more, and faster. Like, they, they need to go back to that. But point is, getting back to this car, London Fletcher, he looks great, right? 91 speed's amazing. 95 hit power's amazing, 93 blocks. So those are the first stats you want to focus on. So he can hit, he can stop the run, and he can run. Play work will get up, and then with with, uh, with lockdown, his zone will be above 90. He'll be one of the, he's probably easily the best by far middle linebacker in this game. Hands down. But the issue is they don't play well. So if you're a guy who's middle linebacker and you're a guy who uses middle linebacker and you don't care about the meta and all that stuff, by all means, go ahead and use yourself a London Fletcher. He's great. But if not, I would avoid him because, again, they ruin cards like this. Next, I'm actually really excited for this card. Aaron Foster. I'm a big Aaron Foster guy. I remember, again, Madden 13, like I was talking about. Always had so much fun with these kind of cards. Aaron Foster was that, like, kind of, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say his peak. I don't know if that was his peak year. But at that time, he was getting, like, playoff cards. Brought him to the playoffs. I think they had Matt Schaub as a quarterback or Schaub, however you say his name. Um... It was a fun time, you know, it was a fun time, especially for us Madden players. Now, 95 speed, 97 Excel, 97 agility, 90 carrying. That's great. 83 catching, 97 change of direction, 92 trucking, 99 break tackle, guys. I don't know if he's the best running back in the game, but he may have, he may be tied with like Barry for like one of the highest change of direction in the game with a 99 stat at break tackle with a crazy high 95 speed, 97 Excel. And here's the thing. Let me go look at, let me go look at Bo on the auction real quick. The thing with Bo is 
most fast than everyone. So everyone automatically goes. So you have to look at the intangibles, right? Look at the other stats that make a difference. Because like, let's say you have a 99 speed right now and an 89 excel. You're not going to get out of the backfield. You're not going to notice the speed so you get out of the backfield. So technically, you're going to have to make those big plays without the speed and then get out of the backfield. So let's compare him to Bo. Bo on the right here has 95 speed, right? Bo gets plus one speed on him. Bo gets 97 excel. So they're tied. Bo gets only 95 agility. So Aaron Foster is more agile. Carrying a little bit less, but that's not a big deal. Catching. He has almost plus 20 catching. Uh, 16, give or take, right? So 16 catching. So that means that Aaron Foss is going to be a great catcher out of the backfield. Like you will be able to throw angles in a lot of those big routes that running backs run, take hits, and probably hold on to them. Change of direction. Bo gets to a 95. Aaron Foss gets 97. That's big. Trucking. Three difference, but no one really trucks. Break, tackle. Bo gets 96. Aaron, Aaron Foss gets 99. That could, that could hit different, right? Aaron Foss is going to be a meta back, in my opinion. People have to try him out. Of course, but he looks fun in a Texans uniform. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Comment down below, guys. Let's keep the momentum going. Like I've been saying, if you guys, if you guys are on the video, smash the like button. If you're watching and you love to show support and you want to see the channel throw, all you gotta do is like the video. It takes a second under time and it helps me a lot, guys. We're trying to get back on the on the grind, We're trying to recover here, but that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, head over to Mott Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Take advantage of the discounts. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. I'll see you guys back on Sunday. That's about it. Peace.